In this video, I'll be going over NVK subproject. This is a script for Reaper, which makes it easier to create and manage subprojects. And it's available as part of the NVK workflow bundle. To start, I'll talk about how creating subprojects in Reaper normally works. And then I'll go over the features that the script adds and what parts of the process it makes simpler. So normally when you create a subproject, you select the tracks and then you run this action, move tracks to subproject. So I'll run that. And then as you can see, it's created a subproject here and it's also extended at the entire length of where items are on the track. So when I go into the subproject, you can see it's also included these muted items here that I might not want. And in addition, when it was rendered, it clipped a little bit because I didn't have a limiter. So if I instead run NVK subproject, I'll select these items and you can see it says here, create subproject from 21 selected items. So instead of using tracks, you can actually select the items you want directly. You can also select tracks as well. And you can see it will create a subproject from the selected tracks. Let's select the items. And then it's already put in a name based on the item name here. We can leave the channels and tail setting alone. In this effects section, I've added ProL2, which is a limiter that I want to be added to the master track of the subproject. You can add any effects or any effects chain that you want using this section here. I'll click OK. And then now you can see the subproject's been created and it's also split the items up automatically. So if I click on one of these, you can see it set the start and end markers to the exact length of the project. And then in addition, it's automatically imported my video track. So any track you have in your project that has video in the name will be automatically imported into the subproject when you use the script. On the master track, you can see that ProL2 has been added. And let's say I make a change. So the way it normally works in Reaper is if, if you make a change and save your subproject, it'll render it out. But as you can see here, the subproject's been clipped. This is because you have to then manually move your end markers over to make room for these new items. So I'll do that again. And then now I will also have to extend the length of the item itself. So let's try that again, but instead I'll use the script. So if I go in here and let's say I make a new variation, I'm going to disable automatic rendering since I won't be needing it. So now when I save, and I go back to the main project, it's not going to automatically render. Instead, I'm going to select the items and then run this NVK subproject script again, which is the same script that I used to open up the UI. When you have subproject selected, instead, it's going to automatically update the subproject and then make it match the new content. So any changes that I make in my subproject will be automatically updated and I'll have these items that I can work with. The update behavior is determined by the setting here under update mode. Relative mode is what you saw here, where it will move the subproduct items to match the first item in the main project. So if I were to move these items over here, when I run the script again, it's going to update the positions based on where the first item is. The other option is match subproduct. So this will use the positions inside the subproduct and apply them to the main project. So now if I run it, it's going to move the subproduct items back to their original positions. Third option is match main project. So with this option, if I move these items to a new spot and then run the action, if I go into the subproject, you can see it's moved the start time of the subproject over to match the new time in the main project. And lastly, the other option is none, which won't do any repositioning. It will just render. And you can also disable the render if you want. Let's move on to the next subproject to go over a few more features. I have this sound here that has an effect on it that adds a tail length. I have a reverb that has a length of one second. And so if I run the subproject script, I'll add a name, and then I'm also gonna put a tail length of one second. It's added a tail length to match. And if I go into the subproject, you can see it's added an end marker one second after the last item. If I change the length, so let's say three seconds, I'll want to use this NBK subproject setting script. In here, I can adjust the tail length after I've created the subproject. And for now, this is the only setting if I click OK, you can see it's updated the length, and this will also make the main script aware of that setting as well. So now if I render again, you can see it's included enough space for the entire length of the reverb tail. So there's a few more scripts and a few more settings to also be aware of. You can also name the track and then add a custom color to your subproject. So if I render this one, you can see it's given the subproject custom color and then also name the track the same name as the subproject. This can make it easier to find the subproject in the main project. The other scripts that are available are fixed markers, which all this one does 
is fix the markers in your sub project to match. You probably won't need it if you're using the default workflow, but it's there just as an option. And as I showed you before, there's a variety of different update modes that you can select as your default in the main script preferences. But I've also included them as scripts that you can run in case you want to manually select different behavior depending on the context. So that's NVK subproject. Again, it's part of the NVK workflow bundle. I hope you enjoy the script. Thanks for watching.